Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors, your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. Good morning, folks. Welcome to Panhandle Outdoors. I'm Winston Chester. I'm glad you're here this morning. Got a great show lined up. We'll get started by weather brought to us by Haney Technical Center. But first, I want to thank uh, Bill Allen for stepping in those couple of days I was gone. And really, it's such a nice, relieving feeling to know if I'm going to be gone for a while, I can just turn it over to someone like Bill and we don't want to skip a beat. So thank you, Bill Allen and Mark and, and all you guys that helped out. Now, weather today is going to be warm. It's going to be 86 degrees, low is 66. Now, water temperature is down to 76 degrees. So it's going to, we're getting into this late spring weather. It's going to be warming up. Now, let's take a look at our river readings. Good news on river readings. If you check it out, it's dropped down now. The Apalachicola Blunstown, we'll say is right below 9, is right below 10. is at a 9.9, .9 and it's leveling out at 9.9, .9, so that's a lot lower than last weekend as we planned for the weekend. Choctatchee at Caraville, we're looking at a 6.3, and it's going to uh, level off again. So both, both the big rivers are, are uh, just going to be level. It's dropping out a little bit today, but you're looking for some weekend fishing on the river system. It's going to sort of be steady, so we can get up in those sloughs, and it's not going to be a great falling out movement in the creeks and all feeding into the, to the rivers. Now, take a look at a tide chart brought to us by Kent, Forest Lawn, Funeral Home, and Cemetery. Look on the screen there. Today is May the 7th, Thursday, May the 7th, and it is going to be some really strong tides. We have a, a high tide at 1127 this morning and our low tide at 1029 tonight. We have a ride at a 1.9 foot range, really strong tides all the way on into the weekend. So it's going to be some good fishing weather, it looks like. It's going to be an excellent time to get outdoors. The marine forecast will be south, southeast at about 5 to 10. All right, let's take our break and we'll be right back with our guest. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. We have a special welcome to our special guest this morning, Brian Revere. Good morning. Yes, sir. Thank you, Coach. Brian is a principal at Vernon High School and Miss Andrea Wright. Good morning, honey. Good morning. And she's a junior at Vernon High School. Am I correct so far? Yes, sir. Okay, now listen, she's a little shy, so I told her I was not going to ask her to sing. Not yet, but if you don't talk loud enough, she's going to have to sing. But Brian, I know, uh, let's quickly talk about uh, your background and how you ended up at Vernon High School real sure, quick. Sure, uh, you know, originally from, uh, I was in Coach's uh, very first outdoor education class at Mosley High School and a graduate of Mosley High School. I taught uh, several years at Bozeman uh, in the Sand Hills and then uh, uh, went to uh, Chipley High School as assistant principal, uh, migrated to Vernon High School as assistant principal and uh, applied for the principalship. Uh, Five years ago now, oh, and uh, you've been there five be, years. yep, beginning my sixth year next year there. Oh, we're so very proud of Brian, and I will keep up with him. Of course, Facebook says wonderful, but he he keeps sending pictures. And I, I, if you remember now, on a regular basis, I'm showing big bucks and big fish and all that Brian sends us. So uh, I know you stay a lot in the outdoors. Hey, we we try, yes sir. I definitely a passion for it. I know you do. I know you. I come from your dad because he oh, loved yeah. to do. He was at Haney for a long time. Yep. Uh, now, Miss Andrea, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, you, you're a Sand Hill girl, you're sort of North Bay County, South Washington County, right? Where'd you go to middle school and all? Vernon. Vernon? Mm -hmm. I went to Bozeman two years, then I went to Vernon. I went to school at Vernon when I was in kindergarten and first grade, then I went to Bozeman, then went back to Vernon. But it's, it's all right there in one area. Well, you know, as the crow flies, there's not much di no distance between those two not schools at all. At, at all. So, uh, well, listen, uh, what are some of the things you enjoy doing in the outdoors? Hunting, fishing, frogging. Hunting, fishing, frogging. Frogging. That's good. Running dogs, everything. Coach, okay. if I can just keep her in school and out of ponds, creeks, and beer <laughs> stands, we, we'd be doing great. That's a good problem to have. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, as most of you know, you know, we, we kept up with a, a lot of young people throughout the panhandle, and An Andrew had a, a shooting accident, was it like two year, year and a half ago? or? So uh, mm -hmm. the accident, tell us briefly about it, and then we're going to talk about how she rebounded and how community pulled together. It's, it's been a wonderful story, so uh, go ahead. I got hurt. I was hunting or heading hunting, and a shotgun went off on the four-wheeler, and I got hurt, and I went to the hospital. I stayed in there for 23 days. I got out, and everybody at school was so glad to have me back at home, and everybody in Vernon contributed to everything that happened for me. And, yeah. It's 
crazy. Well, it, it yeah. was, you know, when, when that accident happened, uh, we saw about it right, you know, another good thing about Facebook, when something happens, you get word out. And I tell you what, there's a lot of folks uh, praying for you, including uh, ourselves yes. and viewers of Panhandle Outdoors, and uh, oh, we were all concerned about it. And, uh, we're, and what, what's been remarkable, though, is how how she's rebounded and and how what a, what she does now is yeah. amazing. She uh, you know of course was a softball player this school year, played mm -hmm. first base, uh, uh, wanted to be the catcher, and I uh, know you know hit and ran and and uh, if uh, if like I said the, the first thing she wanted to do I know was get back on her horse, get back to the four wheeler riding, mm -hmm. uh, oh, being yeah. being <laughs> in the dog hunt chase and and uh, hadn't missed a beat there. So it's uh, you know her her. Uh, passion for those things I know is what's kept her driven and, and motivated. That's good. All right, now tell us, you have a little brother, tell us, what's his name? Eric Wright, and I have an older brother, Stephen Wright. Okay, all right, and your mom was a teacher, or is a teacher? Mm -hmm. At Vernon Elementary School, she teaches kindergarten. Kindergarten teacher, right, that's great, and your dad, he was a teacher? Or? No, he, he, <laughs> he just, works on the pipeline, he's over, he has his own crew on the pipeline. Oh man, so he works hard, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Hard working guy. Yeah. Well, that, that's, that's wonderful. Now, uh, let me, I'm going to just throw some questions at What's your favorite subject at Vernon High School? Well. It's hard to say. You don't want to incriminate yourself because some of your teachers might Probably be ag or gym. Ag or gym. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that would be Brian, I think. We'd I could have like told her that. I knew that <laughs> answer was coming. Yeah. Okay. All right, look, we're going to take, our, we're gonna take our, our next break. We'll come back. We've got all kind of pictures, so we're going to get a head start on those pictures. So we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Sitting here with Andrea Wright, the junior at Vernon High School and a principal, so she can't get in trouble, Brian Revere. Brian, we're talking often talk about the early outdoor wear class at Mosley. Did mm -hmm. you enjoy those days? We did, we did. I mean, uh, I was telling Andrea on the way down, the uh, uh, learning to throw a cast net, fly fishing, building our own jig heads, bullet weights, the, <laughs> the nature trail, you know, uh, that we I carved guess, uh, out of the woods. Yeah. So. That was some fun time. That we really blazed the trail as far as because I was sort of experimenting and knowing, trying to find out what was going and going to work good and what's right. not going to work. And so y'all were my experiment. Y'all like my first child. Oh yeah. I was sort of yeah. experimenting with y'all and board. What a great response we've had though, and, and uh, we're so so proud of it. Uh, and uh, now at this time of year for all schools, when is your graduation? We will uh, wrap up the, the last week of May, the the 27th and 28th, are our graduation points for our two high schools in in Washington County and of course between now and then are the uh, events and award shows and spring football games and jamborees and, and uh, very fast paced time of year and the students are involved of course as you know in all the state mandated testing and district level exams. Uh, How do you like all that testing? Yeah. You don't like it? <laughs> about 99 percent of her her peers were going to say the same thing yeah, too, yeah. and about 99 percent of teachers are going to say the same thing. This is really got a crazy out of hand. So and, and luckily today she didn't have any exams, so we were we were glad to be able to be here and Good for you. Uh, yeah. you know not be able to have to sidestep an exam to you know yeah. be on the show. So. Yeah, well I'm real proud of both of you all really and uh, your job you do and then how you made such a wonderful comeback from a from an injury and all, and how it, it's just sort of brought, it has so many good feelings about it. I sure. just followed it on, on and uh, so I, we're going to look at some pictures. You going to help us with these pictures? Okay, now this this girl is well-rounded. She does a little bit of all of it. So uh, all right, let's tell us about, okay, uh, here we go now. On this first picture, we're looking at, uh, tell us about this one right here. Uh, we, this is the past hunting season. We had a long buck race. We only had one race that whole day. We. We were running two bucks, and they might have been scrolls, but we killed them at the end of the race. So that was an all-day long hunt. It was one race. It wow. Was like right. three hours long. That's little brother in the top right there. That's little brother. He just yeah. he's happy as you are. Yeah. <laughs> They're all family in some way. There you go. Okay, now tell us about this next one. This is the same type of day. It was a different day, though. We uh, That was a pretty good little decent book. We... Uh, ran dogs. I think we only had two races that day. We ran a doe. It wasn't, but we didn't. Shoot now, where, where's it, where do y'all dog hunt? In New Hope. In, out of New Hope. Okay. Yep. That's a nice buck here, Andrea. Yeah. That's a good shot there. I believe she's in her school clothes there too, Coach. So oh, I thought about, about, about that. that. Yeah. You, know, you didn't leave school early, did you? No. No, don't incriminate yourself. <laughs> okay. That's a good picture here. I took 
Brandy to kill her first deer out of my tree stand. It was cold that morning. Good <laughs> it was cold. So this was coming. I let her shoot whatever, cause not really whatever, but that was her first deer. So. So this is out of a tree stand then. Mm -hmm. So you like to dog hunt, seal hunt, a little bit of all of it, huh? Oh yeah. So uh, that looks like a big healthy deer right there. Oh yeah. All right. I right, tell us about this one. My brother shot that one. I just posted that one on Facebook because my truck looked good. <laughs> <laughs> that does look good. That, that's nice. Yeah. All right, here you are up in a, in a tree stand. That was the first time I ever climbed into my tree stand. Daddy took a picture of me. We were getting everything, seeing if I could climb and do everything I used to so, do. That was the summer after her accident. The summer after the accident. So right. It was right before bow season, I think. Yep. So you were able to climb up there okay? Oh, yeah. And uh, that is wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Well, that was not too long ago. We were all riding four-wheelers. We all have 420s, Honda four-wheelers. Now, look, I, I was looking at this last night. That's in the creek. Did y'all did y'all come across the creek or y'all just backed into the no, creek? No, we just backed into the creek <laughs> for a picture. For <laughs> wa washing our wheels off. Brian, when I looked at it, I said, hey, man, they came all across that creek. Hey, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put past them. They <laughs> <may> <laughs> we <laughs> Float four wheelers and do okay. all that stuff. <laughs> That's a good picture. That's yours? Mm-hmm. All that, right. Yep. That was when the creek was high. When the creek last, was high. Last year. Now you got a kayak in here. What creek are you on? Holmes Creek. Holmes Creek. Yeah. Going to Cypress Spring. Now how do you like that uh, kayak? Uh, I'd rather be on a little John boat. <laughs> on a John boat. I got my truck and I, I stay hooked up to the boat now. Yeah. After school, I'll go to the like house. electric motors instead of those arm motors. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. All right. Tell us about your gun. What kind of gun do you have? A uh, single shot 243. Okay. You, got, oh. you practice much on your, on your shooting? You, nah. don't, you don't practice any? She's dead eye. <laughs> Not All right, now let's go to some fishing pictures. Check this out. Where, where are you now? Uh, a little pond close to the house called Booger Hill. <laughs> Booger Hill. Yeah. I think all communities got something like a booger here. Oh yeah. That uh Rod Fuller's on the other side fish in the pond. What kind what'd you catch that bass on? I don't know. On a hook. <laughs> on a hook. Yeah. Secrets, <laughs> Worm probably. <laughs> well, I just take this next picture here. Tell us about it. That was right after Easter. We ate Easter dinner and we went fishing. Oh man. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Right. We caught pretty good little ones. Wow, that's cool. Tell us about your horse. Uh, I, when I was little, i always been around this horse this whole time, my life, and he's like, I don't know, I love my horse. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What's your horse's name? Pegasus. Pegasus. How, how old is he? He's 17, my age. Okay, so you've had him you've had him a long yeah. time? My uncle son had him, then we got him. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. How, do you get to spend a lot of time with him? Mm -hmm. Does he yeah. does eat a lot? Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like a horse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now listen, this will be change outfits. What is this? Well, you clean up one, or clean up <laughs> every now and then. You clean up every now and then. Yeah. So, uh, uh, this prom. year's prom. Out this year's prom. Boardwalk, Boardwalk Beach Resort. Uh, Boardwalk Beach. I, you know, I think y'all might have had yours a week after Moses. It seemed yep. like mm -hmm. it was real I close so. and a uh, great location for prom. That's a beautiful dress. She did have a good looking date, but you can see what she took a picture with there instead. Yeah. So, uh, Toyota. Yeah. That's your truck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's get back to nature. So, what about this one? Um, he's just an old <laughs> gillian. You're in the Sand Hill Ponds, aren't you? Mm hmm. All right. Yeah, he's old. Now, let's talk about your athletic endeavors. You're on a softball team. What position do you play? First base now. I used to catch. It hated me seeing somebody else behind the plate instead of me. All right. But you got you made an adapted takes into first base. That, uh, first base is important now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very important. Who are your uh, friends here? Uh, that's Johnny May and the other one's Maya Rosa. Okay. A couple of her fellow teammates. She'll fuss at them now when they don't make a good throw to first. Good for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. This so. this picture was uh, last year when uh, Andrea was still in the hospital, and uh, we arrived at Blountstown to play Blountstown, and uh, they had this sign waiting on our dugout and uh, a donation, you know, in our, Andrea's name, and wow. they wanted to take a picture with the team. And like I said, that was all at Blountstown. So uh, that, that, that's a Blountstown girls. 
yep. with all and that. With our Vernon team. Wow, that that speaks enormous uh, volume of the, the quality and the character of the uh, mm -hmm. folks over there in Calhoun County. Yep. Uh, that, yep. That's just wonderful to do that. that, that that's great. I know a lot of those folks, kin to some of them. All right, here's a good picture. Mm -hmm. Now you're right-handed, right? Handed, right? Mm -hmm. And you, you bat right-handed? Okay, and uh, you look good there. All right. Happy to be back on that field. I right? know you were happy yeah, to get a, back on that field. There's an action shot of her there during the game, and uh, again, playing playing first base, uh, ready for that next runner to be thrown out. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then this last one, you sort of sent me an email on this one, Brian. Tell yeah. us about uh, what that, happened at uh, school. When, when Andrea was still in the hospital, we uh, were trying to come up with different fundraising activities, and uh, some of the students came to me about let's just you know do a day wear her favorite com uh, color which of course is camouflage yeah and so uh, we we invited the entire student body that if they wore camouflage that day and made we didn't care if it was a quarter to okay. you know as much of a donation as they could make and uh, they uh, like it says there in the email that those those students in that picture you know a sample of okay uh, maybe a third of our kids but brought in over eight hundred dollars that morning. You know, and they, they wow. weren't required to just make some kind of donation wow. and be in camouflage and, and in all, you know, that, the Bluntstown, this, you know, over over $14,000. That's what I was going to say. I'm, I'm reading here on the, on, the, on the email in this area and all. Yep. Raise $14,000. How did that make you feel? Like everybody cared for somebody mm -hmm. yeah. or something. Yeah, and that, that kind of where we started the small town big heart. Small town big heart. slogan was through those things. Yep. And, and you know, we, we talk about it, the spirit of the people here in Florida Panhandle and the, the outdoor people and just the, all of us together. When we all pull together no matter where you're from and all, when something like this happens, man, I, I know a lot of, I know you had to feel good about that. Mm -hmm. so, uh, and I know you were proud of, of the community and, oh, yeah. and just yeah, everybody. Just, it, yeah. Yeah, you know, opportunities like this, they, it just never ceases to amaze you. Yeah. you know, the, the outpouring and the support and, and the, you know, people that could use that money dearly but want to make sure that it goes to mm -hmm. somebody like Andrea and, and her cause. Yeah. And I've been wanting to get her on, a, uh, on the show for a while, but she stays so doggone busy. <laughs> she's she's pretty popular these days. <laughs> you know, we just kind of her manager now. Uh, <laughs> okay, we're going to take, uh, take our last break. We'll be right back. Ah, welcome back. So glad you're with us this morning. Sit here with Andrea Wright, a junior at Vernon High School, and her principal. Uh, this is this is Bud Revere's son. I used to call him oh, as a little kid, but now that, he's man. Brian Revere. <laughs> so we're good, proud to have y'all drive down. What time y'all get up this morning? Uh, I got up at three thirty and uh, picked up Andrea about four thirty, and we headed south. <laughs> All right. And I know yeah. during the break now she's ready to go get a biscuit. She is. She is. That was, uh, I had to give her some school leave and a biscuit to make this happen. <laughs> That's a good deal. You can't be yeah. there. School leave and a biscuit. All right, let's look at our fishing game time today. Brought to us by Mark Coward of Edgewater Beach Realty. Mark's number is 832-6000. Our morning time, Andrea. 3.20? 3.20 a.m. to 5.20 a.m. Okay, and this afternoon, what time? 3.47 p.m. and... Okay, those two two-hour blocks there, and I know I asked all my guests, and they all both be in the woods and all, there's just periods of time when you fish and hunt where you see things. Yep, absolutely. We, we were talking on the way down. Andrea's never been saltwater fishing, and so uh, I promised her a trout or redfish trip, or if you got any guides out there that would promise her a great opportunity on the water, uh, She'd love to catch a nice speckled trout or redfish. And, now, uh, now uh, he won't say, Brian's a good fisherman. Y'all seen his pictures. Now, you, you go in the West Bay a lot. You oh, yeah. West yeah Bay we area. do. We like to put in under the bridge there and mm -hmm. uh, fish, you know, creeks and bays uh, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, try to get out there every chance we can. And, and we were talking about the tides and lunar charts when we were coming down yeah. about how vital they are. And, Andrea told me none of that matters. You just got to go when you have opportunity. And she's, she's exactly right. <laughs> go, yeah, that's true. Go when you can. Uh, what's your plan for the summer, Andrea? Uh, stay on the lake and the creek, fish, tan, have fun. Just enjoy yourself and all. Now, you got one more year of school, your senior year. Can you believe you're going to be a senior next year? Mm. It's amazing, isn't it? Now, what, what's your long term goals after, after high school graduation? What are some things you'd be thinking about doing? Have fun and I guess go to college. I'm 12 years of school, and I don't want to have much more. Yeah, go to college. Go to physical therapy. Physical therapy. Now that that would be good. And I guess you got some good exposure to yeah. physical therapy <laughs> yeah. while while you were making your rehab, didn't you? Yep. 
Those, those people do miracles, don't they? They work you hard. They didn't work me hard. They didn't? No. She's tough. You today, they work They them told pretty. me that, uh, I know most people, they say like when they get amputees or whatever, like they have to go all week. I went two days a week at the most. Okay. They told me I was like way advanced that I didn't have to ever go to the physical therapy, so I barely went. Okay. Well, you just got a couple minutes left now. Uh, uh, now, what, who are some of your friends that you want to give a big shout out to? Are you afraid to say in one name or you want to, anybody in particular, any favorite teachers or? I mean, you know all the burning the elementary school and the high school going to be watching this today. Uh, yeah. We just give a big uh, shout out to the Jacket Nation. There you yeah. go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, uh, Brian, uh, you getting uh, like I say ready to, to finish up and all this summer and the principal's work in the summer. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll go to a four day work week and um, you know so many people when you're in the profession want to know what do y'all do during the summer <laughs> and. Uh, it's if I could have one more day, one more hour, uh, you know, yeah. to get everything done from the, the cleaning and preparation. But I, I always tell everybody it's it's everything to prepare for next school year, whether it's the yeah. master schedule itself, the bell schedule, the student schedules, new programs that we want to implement and uh, uh, roll out. So we've yeah. we've got a lot of big things as we look to next year and some new programs such as AVID and, uh, you know, uh, just various other electives we're going to try to offer to, mm -hmm. to give our students, you know, in a small school they don't get a lot of elective choices because of yeah. limitation on teachers and, right. and faculty. So we, we try to get as creative as we can and offer things that, you know, give them opportunity that uh, larger schools can afford and offer mm -hmm. and, and we don't want our students to miss out on those things right. just because right. well, I know you know, do we're a small school. I follow y'all, I follow all the schools around here because it's really important to me and uh, y'all just do a great job up there. And, and then you see a situation like this and uh, it just makes you feel good. Sure. Small sure town, does. small town, big heart. Right, Andrew? Yes, sir. Thank you for getting up this early. <laughs> you, okay. We're yeah. going to wrap things up, folks. Tomorrow now we'll have our famous Friday fishing forecast. We'll be giving away some uh, rest snappers, some seafood, so be sure and then watch this. And uh, again, Brian, thank you, buddy. Yes, sir. Thank good you, Good luck Coach. today. Andrew, great to meet right. you finally. And uh, glad you came on the show. Yes, sir. And good thank luck you. to you. All right. All right. Folks, thank you all for watching Panhandle Outdoors. You do something good for someone else today, and God bless. Thanks for joining us for Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester. Panhandle Outdoors features hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.